If you want small town charm with the perks of the city within minutes, then Hello Lotus, Texas might be the spot for you. Today I'm gonna to go into what it's like to live in the San Antonio suburb with a laid back atmosphere and some of the most beautiful scenery in all of the area. So stay tuned. Hey there, it's your realtor Denise Ross with Keller Williams here in San Antonio, Texas. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell so you're notified every week when we post a new video. I absolutely love helping people make San Antonio their home. So if you have any questions about what it's like to live here or you're ready to get the process of moving started, feel free to send me a text, a call, or an email, however you'd like to get in touch. I would love to hear from you. Now we're gonna jump right in about what it's like to live in Pelotas, Texas. San Antonio has a lot of suburbs, each with their own character, lifestyle, and vibe. But if you are looking for the community and charm of a small town with the feeling that you're living way out in the country but yet still close to all the conveniences of the city, then you should definitely look into Helotus. Helotus is located on the far northwest side of San Antonio, just outside of Loop 1604, which is the outer loop that goes all around San Antonio at Bandera Road. It's a town of about 10,000 people, and what really draws a lot of people to this area is the feeling of being really far out into the country, but yet you're super close to anything you could want in San Antonio. I've heard it described as small town charm with 1.5 million neighbors. The Lotus is in a great location with several major employers right nearby. It's just a few minutes north on 1604 to the Valero Energy Headquarters and also pretty convenient to get to UTSA, USAA, the South Texas Medical Center as well. It's also about a 25 or so minute drive to Lackland Air Force Base and about a 30 minute drive to downtown San Antonio. It's also not far and convenient to get to SeaWorld, Fiesta, Texas and the shops at La Quintera. However, right at 1604 and Bandera Road is the Bandera Point Shopping Center, which is one of the largest shopping centers in all of San Antonio. In fact, it takes up every corner of this intersection and has pretty much every kind of food or shop, has movie theaters and even a trampoline park there. There's also an HEB Plus, which if you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much everyone in San Antonio loves HEB. And HEB Plus is just like a supersized version of HEB with not only groceries, but a lot of other merchandise as well. So that's definitely some place you will want to check out when you come here to visit or to look for a home. But there is also plenty right in Helotus itself. In Old Town Helotus, which is the downtown district, it is so cute. There are antique shops, local coffee shops, and even the Helotus Creek Winery, which makes all of its own wines and some really unique flavors. And there's a lot of outdoor seating, and it's just a beautiful and fun place to hang out there under all of the oak trees. And in 2019, Reader's Digest even named Old Town Helotus as the coolest secret place in Texas. There's several locally owned restaurants such as Bee Daddy's Barbecue and one of my favorites, El Chaparral Mexican restaurant, which has great food and drinks and a really nice patio, even a playground for kids. And sometimes they even have live mariachi music. And we can't forget the most famous place in Helotus, the John T. Floors Country Store, which is a world-renowned Texas historical landmark. It's been around for over 75 years, and it's a dance hall, a concert venue, and a cafe, and it's hosted performers such as Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, B.B. King, and even Elvis. They still have live music at least two days a week, so it's really cool and fun to check out. And if you walk into any of these local businesses, you will probably be greeted by the owner and really just experience for yourself the charm of living in a small town. Helotus has a lot of family-oriented activities. There's its annual festival, the Corny Ball, which has a carnival, a rodeo, and more. There's a 4th of July fireworks display at City Hall. There's a community band. There's a Christmas parade. And there's even the first Saturday of every month, there's a farmer's market where local artisans and farmers set up little stands. And it is just a really neat thing to go and shop local and see all that there is to see there. As far as outdoor activities, the Government Canyon State Natural Area is for close by with a lot of hiking and biking trails and even some fossilized dinosaur footprints that you can take a look there. There's the Helotus Fitness Park and Disc Golf Course, as well as zip lining and more to do in the area. 
There is absolutely a lot to be proud of when living in Holotus, not the least of which is the exemplary rated schools. The area is served by the Northside Independent School District, which is one of the largest school districts in Texas, and there are several schools which serve the area. Northside really tries to keep a close eye on the attendance numbers, so there are still new schools being built annually. Because Holotus is located centrally within the school district, it serves as kind of a hub for a lot of the different programs that are offered. The agricultural program at Sandra Day O'Connor High School is widely regarded as one of the top agricultural programs in the entire nation. Also, all of the sports complexes for the entire district are right here in or around Holotus with the tennis center, the athletic complex with the football stadium and the gym, and the aquatic center, which is the largest one in San Antonio and actually served as a training ground for the 2016 U.S. Olympic team. So really any kind of activity that your child could possibly want to participate in can probably be found in the area. The Holotus area really is so pretty as it is really the gateway to the Texas Hill Country. Now San Antonio really isn't some place that you envision having a whole lot of hills, but once you get outside the outer loop on the north and west sides, you really start to get into a lot of those rolling hills and it is just really so picturesque and beautiful. The town really does a lot as far as historic preservation and also to preserve the beauty and small town atmosphere and charm. There's some adopt a street programs, adopt a park programs, and because it is its own municipality, it has its own police force, fire department, and EMS. And actually, there's even a patrol by program. So if you're going on vacation, you can fill out a form and the police will come and drive by your house and check on it while you're out of town on vacation. And that is definitely something, a service that you can only find in a small town. There are lots of housing options if you're looking at living in this area. There's existing homes. There's also new communities that are still actively building. There's tracked homes to bigger homes on larger home sites. So if you want a little more space between you and your neighbor, or you want a heavily wooded lot on this uh, with a custom home on the side of a hill with views for miles, there's any of that and everything in between. There's both gated and non-gated communities with a variety of amenities in the various neighborhoods. And the prices are gonna vary widely in this area as well. Last month, the median home price was 432,000, but the prices start at the low 300s and can go all the way up to 2 million. So no matter the price point or the style of home you're looking for, there's something for just about everyone. Lotus was named in Bloomberg's Business Weeks as one of Texas best small towns to raise kids. And there is a wide variety of demographics here. There's everything from young families to retirees and everything in between. Since Holotus is its own city and not part of San Antonio, that's gonna mean that your property taxes will be slightly lower than if you were in the city limits of San Antonio, but probably will still fall at about 2.4% of your property value. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're coming from another state outside of Texas and aren't familiar with our property taxes here. As you can see, there are a lot of pros to living in Holotus, one of the most scenic, quaint and charming areas all around San Antonio, but there are gonna be some cons as well, one of which is traffic. Traffic on 1604, especially during rush hour, is going to be frustrating at times. However, if you're coming from an area like Los Angeles or Houston, you're gonna be looking around going, what traffic, this is nothing. And actually, traffic has gotten a little bit better in this area since they recently redid the interchange the intersection at 1604 and Bandera Road so that has helped some to make traffic flow a little bit better. The other possible con for this area is going to be critters. Because it is a little less densely populated there's still a lot of new construction going on you're probably gonna see some armadillos, porcupines, raccoons, and even deer. So it just depends on your perspective as to whether you think that's a con or not. I think it's kind of cool to see some wildlife every once in a while, but um, anyway, it just depends on your perspective. So if you have any other questions about what it's like to live in Helotus or the San Antonio area in general, or a real estate question, I'd love to help you get those answered. Feel free to text, call, or email however you'd like to get in touch. And I would love to help you make San Antonio your home when you're ready. If you liked this video, you will want to watch this one next. 
about the pros and cons of living in San Antonio. Thanks so much for watching.